Last week, I reviewed the Vitoman Flash Speed 1500 portable power station. So in today's video, I am going to review the 400 watt solar panel that you see here that fits perfectly with it. Now, it's not that heavy at all, weighing in at about 38 pounds, and it's rated for a max of 400 watts at 40 volts. Now, I ran the battery down in my Vitoman Flash Speed 1500 portable power station running my 5000 BTU window air conditioning. So now I'm going to use this solar panel to charge it back up and see if we can get a full charge on it in one day from zero to 100%, which I don't see a problem at looking at the specs on it. Now it has a nice handle on it, as you can see right here, making it very easy to carry. And this little yellow plastic piece that you see right here, actually the MC4 cable wraps around it and the connectors slap in right here, making it very convenient. And you also have a zipper pouch right here if you want to add any other different type of connectors. And you can also put the manual inside there like I have here. It also has an IP67 waterproof rating, which means if you accidentally left it outside in the rain, you don't have to worry about it, it can handle that. But that IP67 rating, basically you just don't want a submergent water for long periods of time. You can also use it with a lot of different power stations. The cable that actually comes with this 400 watt panel has a DC5521 connector, an Anderson connector, an XT60 connector, and then obviously the MC4 connectors. And in the box, you're gonna get obviously the solar panel, you're gonna get the charging cable with all those different connectors, and you're also gonna get the user manual. It also has kickstands built into it, so you can adjust that angle to set it just right to get that maximum solar efficiency. And it takes literally less than three minutes to set this thing up, plug it in, and have it charging your power station. Now let's plug it into my Vitoman Flash Speed 1500 portable power station and see how it does. Let's see how long it takes this 400 watt Vitoman portable solar panel. Charge up the uh, Vitoman Flash Speed 1500 here that I have ran down to 0%. I literally ran it for about four hours on my 5000 BTU window air conditioning and ran it until it died because I wanted to see how long it would take to charge up. So it is 9 a.m. and let's plug this thing in and that's very simple to do. So on the back of the solar panel here, so on the back of the solar panel here, you've got this little area where they wrap the cord around, which is pretty nice. This is kind of the permanent wire they have here that's built into the solar panel. So you can't remove this. And on the end of it, you've got your standard MC4 connectors. And inside the little pouch on the solar panel that's on the back, they give you this MC4 connector cable. And on the other end, you have multiple different types of connections, one of which fits this 400 watt solar panel and those are all combined onto here so which is very interesting so let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see if it works okay so i plugged the mc4 connectors together now we just got to find since we're going with 400 watts here we're going to want to use the anderson connector and let's plug that in to see what happens with this thing right, and it is about 9 a.m right now so it's still early morning sun and right here where it says solar input 400 watts that's where we're going to plug the Anderson connector in, so let's do that. Line up the red with the red, black with the black. Push it in. Yep, we are charging 208 watts. Oh, there you go, 209 watts. So, I believe this plugged in. It's about 9 a.m. right now. We'll see how long it takes to get this thing charged. And it is a nice, clear, sunny day as of today. So, we have been charging now for a little under two hours. Let's see how we're doing. We went from zero percent. Not sure if you can see that, but it says we're charging at 291 watts and we are at 27% on the battery. And we'll give it a check in another hour or two. Well, I've been letting it charge for the last two hours and darn it, I came out here and one of my trees are blocking the sun a little bit on it. So that tree right there, darn. Well, let's see how many watts we're pulling out of this thing right now. Only 33 watts. We're at 66% charge. Not sure if you'd read that, but yeah, clouds are killing us here. So let me move this thing into the sun. All right, we are back in the sun now. So let's get another reading on this thing. And it's about uh, 1.30 p.m. So it's good time for solar. 325 watts is what I'm seeing. And we're charging good now. This is a max 400 watt panel. So it's about 70, 75% efficiency at the moment. All right, we'll follow back up soon and see how long it takes to charge it. It is now 4 p.m. and I laid the panels flat. This is my other area where I was. It was getting shaded by some trees <laughs> quite a bit, actually, numerous times today. 
Um, but I am at 100% charge now. And I'll take a look at the unit. I covered it up just because I didn't want it to be in the sun, getting too hot. So basically put a little cover over it. And let's see. Eh, it's hard to see, but yeah, we are at 100% charged right now. So technically I've had it charging for seven hours. You could easily have dropped an hour off that if I didn't have shade covering it. So, I mean, expect five to six hours if you're in full sun to be able to charge this thing from zero to 100%. But pass the test. It worked great. The price on this right now, as of August 2024, is $709, which comes out to about $1.77 per watt. But at this price, you're getting a very high solar conversion rate with an efficiency of up to 23%. So if you're looking for a good quality solar power station, then this 400 watt solar panel and the Vitomin Flash Speed 1500 is definitely something to look into. I'll have a link in the description of this video to where you can purchase this 400 watt panel and also the Vitomin Flash Speed 1500 portable power station. I'll also leave a link in that description as well to where you can click on that to watch the video review I did on the standalone Flash Speed 1500 portable power station. Well, that's it for now. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this, and we'll see you all in the next video.